Please me for our YouTube channel. What is up guys? Welcome to Scottsdale, Arizona. Now I know some of you thought we were going to LA to go to Hoonigan. Well, in fact, we shot our video with Hoonigan while we were still at LS Fest West. I think that video comes out next Monday. But instead of driving five hours in the wrong direction, we decided to shoot the video at their off-site layout that they had at LSFS West. So right now we're in Scottsdale. We're with our friend Cheyenne. You can look up his Instagram. It's actually Lord Cheyenne. And this guy has a tied NASCAR truck. And you guys know the Dale truck. Right when I bought the Dale truck, he bought this truck. We're gonna go in and see it right now. It is so sick and we're actually gonna drive it this weekend on the track along with his Viper. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but wait till you see this truck. It's insane. Ooh, there she is. Looks good on the white floors too. So this is pretty much exactly like the Dale truck. The body is a little bit different, but the chassis is the exact same. And guys, it is insanely clean. So you said you bought this at Barrett Jackson, right? Yep. Yeah, dude. Said he drank a little bit and just, he knew he had to have it. And it is so clean. Like compared to the Dale truck, Cooper and I were laughing because the Dale truck is so, so like raced up and beat up. It's perfect for us. LS swapped and everything, but this thing is immaculate. I mean, the paint isn't even chipped in a single spot. So everything in the interior was like completely redone, painted, put together perfectly. Oh man, see, and Cooper was saying I need to get this, but put turn intercooler on on Leroy. <laughs> they have this thing perfectly set up for street driving. Look at that fuel filler door right there. Street tires. Real yeah, tail it's real taillights. Look at that, guys. Spot for a license plate. Yeah, license plate. I mean, damn, dude. They put work into this thing to get it to where it is, for sure. Oh, this is painted on? Yep. What? Wow. That's so nice. So nice. See, like, our sti oh, okay. these are stickers. Yeah. These are the, color, the color's paint and then the sticker sticker. Yeah, yeah the color. Sticker. Okay. Damn, dude, that's so sick. Look at like everything, like his battery door has quick pins and it's so nice and like everything's just painted perfectly. He's got real street tires, which is nice. And his is actually registered in Ohio. So it's got a real VIN, everything like that. This truck, if you got pulled over in, you could legitimately say this thing is street legal. It has mufflers too, right? Yeah, it's got mufflers. Windshield wiper, dude, this is a street truck. They put a third brake light on it. Third brake light too, gosh. But it is a Craftsman series truck, just like the Dale truck. Oh baby. So it's a ZZ4, you said? Yep. Mm. So the funny thing is on the Dale truck, we have these same mounting points, but we're missing the centerpiece. And this is a huge stiffening component of the chassis. Otherwise, everything is exactly the same as the Dale truck. From the suspension to the sway bar to the brakes, it seems like everything is the same as the Dale truck. It's pretty crazy. I don't know about the radiator, I think that's different. So he has power steering too, which is really nice. And it's got a four speed in it. Yep. Yeah. For the authenticity, it's nice that you have a real NASCAR setup, but for the power and the street driving, the LS is pretty fun. I was just telling him that like my three, this has gotta be in like my top three trucks I would want. Like I love the Dale truck. I love this Tide truck and I'd love to have an Oreo truck. Sender. thing on the street you could definitely cruise it on the street it's so quiet the Dale truck is so loud yeah. oh it has exhaust on both sides oh really I realized that mufflers on both sides or exhaust on both sides oh yeah dual exit exhaust we've only got one side for the Dale truck <laughs> Quit flexing on us, bro. Come on. The windshield. You got a horn? What? We're good. We're good. Dude, you we're are good. No, dude, you're good. He's got street tires. We got to get the Dale truck to this level. The power steering would be my favorite thing. I don't think I've ever sat in the passenger seat of my truck. <laughs> you're in for a treat. It's so funny how similar 
like the chassis of this truck is to right. mine. I don't know who yours was built by, but it's it's very similar, man. I'm sure they're all kind of the same. What do you think? Oh like yeah, they're, they're built for. I mean, they yep. said this was raced. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, they're very similar. Okay. You guys can you can actually see where his crossbar was. Remember how we took mine out? He had one in the same spot. Yeah, bro, we're NASCAR trucking it. <laughs> Dude, this thing is awesome. It's so nice and quiet in here. I love I it. Yeah, we got the cup. Like you got the cup. They even put that on the description, like authentic cup holder. <laughs> cup holder with cup from a NASCAR. <laughs> like this is so American. It you is. Know, this whole and like stuff. your whole steering column and everything is all yeah. freaking shined up. I mean, everything. All your gauges are working perfect. You know? Really nice. You have a fuel level sensor. Wow. Yeah, fuel pressure, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got fuel level and my pressure. Nice. Well. On the way here we noticed there was a little issue with the brakes hopefully we can get it fixed for tomorrow but give or take we'll see if anything we'll probably bring it down just do some burnouts and have fun and then here's the demon look at this bad girl it's got like 1800 miles on it we're gonna rip this thing a little bit too destroyer gray for the wind man i'm telling you people this color is where it's at we got the viper acr this is gonna be so much fun tomorrow are we just gonna terrorize this thing tomorrow? Just rip it? I think we should try to go through two sets of tires. Yeah. Try and go through two sets tomorrow? Yeah, we'll go through two. We'll <laughs> so down. So this thing, surprisingly, does not just have some old Chevy motor in it, guys. Da, 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 da. Yep, it's actually diesel powered, folks. So it's got a twin turbo Duramax, you said, right? Yep, LBZ. LBZ. <laughs> fresh block, fresh Garrett turbos. That is ridiculous. This uh, fix the synchros in the tranny, she's <laughs> good to go. I would have never thought this thing was diesel when we pulled up here. We were like, man, that thing's really nice. Wonder what it's got in it. He said, oh, you, it's got a Duramax in it. And look at how shiny everything is. God dang, it's man. Like oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're actually gonna go for a ride in this thing. See what the Duramax power is all about. Let's hear the spool. Let's see if you can tell, if you can hear the difference. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Right, oh out. damn! It checks out, guys. It's truly a diesel. Does it black smoke? Yeah. Hell yeah! Oh my gosh! It sounds just like your Duramax. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Feels like you're doing a damn wheelie. Yeah, buddy. 
can feel the torque. Yeah. That's such a weird sensation in a car like this. It's just all torque. Dude, the door just blows the tires off. I feel like it's like pulling the front driver wheel. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's twisting the whole. Dude, it's gotta yeah. be hard to shift just because like that it's sheer movement of the whole car. That's a little boosted. Yeah. Just, just, just let it eat in a second. See what it does. Second? Just let it burn from second. Torque for days, dude. <laughs> Torque for days. <laughs> it's a good first car for a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? It's for sale. <laughs> You're selling it? Everything's for sale. <laughs> I'm sure there's a ton of people searching for diesel Novas. Oh, it's a really popular hit. Yeah, it's gotta be a huge market. <laughs> Alright guys, so that ended off today, but tomorrow. We have some Viper ACR, Leroy, and freaking Tide Truck action coming at you guys. We're gonna film, have a ton of fun. We pretty much have this entire day to tear up Indy Motorsports, and we are just gonna let her rip tater chip. So I'll end it off there. Thanks for watching, guys. Do it for Dale. We will see you later. Also, guys, we stopped at the Chevy dealership and got a new clutch switch for Leroy. We got two of them, so we'll have a backup. So we are good to go for drag racing at Streetcar Takeover Dallas. We'll see you guys on Friday and Saturday.